Hey again, Rich from Confederation Log and Timber Frame. Um, we've had uh, a lot of people still interested in submitting questions. So again, thank you very much for everybody that has uh, sent in questions and uh, requests for future topics and uh, all the positive comments. It uh, really means a lot. Uh, on this video, I wanted to kind of tackle a couple of things that uh, aren't in our typical scope of work or uh, questions that we get a lot of, but I uh, felt that it was still really relevant to a lot of people out there. So the first one comes from John. Hey, good afternoon, Rich. It's John Bowstead. Uh, I have a question about integrating an old log home into a new one. I was wondering, we're looking at one that's uh, 80 to 100 years old, and, and we may not be able to build a second home on the property, but uh, what's your guys' experience in being able to design a place that we integrate the old one into the new with a connecting passage or somehow, so that we end up making it uh, an addition as opposed to a new build? Uh, I'd like to hear what you think about that. Bye now. Cool. Thanks, John. Uh, a couple points in that question. You mentioned that there's an existing log home that's uh, about 80 or 100 years old. That's a big testament to how long a log home will last. It's literally generations as long as the uh, maintenance is kept up on it over the years. Um, additions are things that we do get asked about. It's a little bit tricky from our end because there's a lot of things that we have to iron out from a connection detail, um, how it's going to fit with the existing versus the new. The simple answer, John, is yes, it can be done and we've done it many times, but we would want to schedule a meeting to go over what the addition is going to look like and then we'd want to uh, meet on site as well and try to figure out uh, how that breezeway or the connection point from the existing to the new is going to be sorted out and then we just design it accordingly. So uh, it would probably fall into the same category as any other home during the blueprint phase. All the connections are ironed out and then it's just construction on site. So. Yes, it can be done, and uh, we should talk about getting together to explore all of the uh, options available to you. I hope that answers your question. We have one more from Chris and Denise, and they are looking at foundation options. Hey, Rich. Chris and Denise here. Love the channel. Um, very informative. We're about... Two and a half, three years away from building a log home, and we're just doing some research on how we're going to build the house, different things in the mechanical system of it. One of the things we're looking at is the possibility of an ICF basement underneath it, and we'd like to know from your experience, A, do you build many log homes on ICF basements, and are there drawbacks or pitfalls that you're aware of um, when building with an ICF basement. Anyways, congratulations on the channel. Keep up the good work. See you soon. Thanks, guys. Um, foundations, obviously the first part of the build. There's a few different options that you have available to you. Typically, uh, you can go with a block or a poured or an ICF basement. The ICF stands for insulated concrete forms. They're styrofoam and then concrete and then styrofoam. And it is a very energy efficient way to go. Um, I would look at uh, exploring all three options because there is no limitation on what type of foundation that you, you put in to go, on, uh, go underneath our homes. Uh, so look at it from a ease of construction standpoint. What does the builder like to use uh, as well as budget because there will be three different numbers attached to those three different options that I mentioned. So uh, to answer your question, there's no limitations. There's not really a ton of um, huge positives or huge negatives in terms of what an ICF brings to the table. Uh, I would explore the options and uh, talk to the builder and then we can just design it accordingly. It will be spec'd on our blueprints so that that foundation contractor uh, can work right from our drawings and install the foundation whatever type it is. So again I hope that answers your question and uh, thank you again for the questions. Please make sure you subscribe and uh, give us some comments uh, on what uh, future topics and please keep submitting your questions. Thank you.